One NDP MLA makes Remembrance Day about abortion. Is there nothing these people won't shoehorn their political agenda into? This person is Marie Renault. She's the socialist NDP MLA for St. Albert. And she's in desperate need of a history lesson. And if you voted for her, you probably should feel a little ashamed of yourself right now. Why? Because she's co-opted for her own selfish political causes our day of remembrance to honor our fallen heroes. Largely men and some women who fought against the evil of fascism and paid the ultimate price to defend our freedoms. First, though, we have to go back slightly to last week. In a move the mainstream media laughably calls controversial, a conservative member of the Alberta legislature brought forward a private member's bill which promises to simply reaffirm freedom of conscience and religion for doctors and healthcare practitioners. It's already a protected right in Canada. For example, a Catholic doctor does not have to participate in assisted suicide or abortion. Now, the bill in Alberta would simply reiterate the province's commitment to protecting those rights for all moral objectors, religious or otherwise. The new bill does not deny anybody access to abortion or assisted suicide. However, that did not quell the outrage from people who never took the time to actually read the bill from panicking about how the legislation would suddenly, quote, reopen the abortion debate or, quote, limit women's right to choose. Let me put it this way. If you think that estheticians have a right to refuse to wax Jonathan Yaniv's balls for any reason, then doctors certainly have a right to refuse to perform procedures that are in direct conflict with their religion and thus jeopardize their souls. So that brings us to yesterday. This is what Renault tweeted in response to a tweet sent by the Canadian military about remembering the fallen on Remembrance Day. Just a reminder, Dan Williams and Jason Kenney, they fought for Canada. They fought for our right to choose. And just so we're all clear here, Renault means the right to choose to abort your unborn child. She doesn't mean the right to choose your religion, your political affiliation, to choose what you think and what you say independent of the state. She thinks our grandpas and great uncles, many of whom were, as was the entire culture at the time, devoutly religious people, signed up to fight the Nazis so she could terminate a baby. No, sister. It didn't happen that way. And Renault attacked Jason Kenney and Dan Williams by name for a reason. You see, Jason Kenney was attacked because he's Catholic, meaning he's pro-life. And Williams, whose religion I don't know, and it's none of my business anyway, is in the crossfire because he's the backbench UCP MLA responsible for that bill to simply reaffirm conscience rights as protected already in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms for doctors who don't want to participate in abortions or medically assisted suicides. I'm pretty sure abortion was roughly on zero people's minds as they enlisted or were drafted especially given the prevailing pro-life sentiment in society at large at the time. Abortion was illegal in Canada on the 10th of September 1939, when Canada joined World War II with our Commonwealth allies. What a ghoulish statement for Renault to make, considering the number of people who went to their death at the hands of the Nazis because their religion was incompatible with the goals of the fascist state. And those six million Jews and many Catholics went to their deaths along with people whose precious lives were considered inconvenient for the goals of the fascist state, the disabled, the mentally infirm, the sickly, the Roma, and the gay. I think you get the parallels I'm drawing here about placing a value on certain human lives above others. And those inconvenient lives, as it were, were ended alongside brave men and women, civilians, clergy, and otherwise, who refused to violate their consciences to abide activities performed by the fascist state that they found evil, because inevitable death for them was preferable than participation in evil. That legacy of unwavering bravery in the face of moral degeneracy is protected in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Those are the freedoms Canadians fought and died for. Freedom of religion, freedom of conscience, freedom of expression, freedom of association. So no, Marie, 
Those soldiers, they did not fight for your right to terminate your baby. They did, however, fight for your right to freely express yourself so that you can reveal your monumental ignorance on public platforms like Twitter. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Left-wing politicians get to say reprehensible things whenever they like because they know the media is on their side and the media will never hold them to account. That's why what we do here at Rebel News is so important. Now, one of the best ways to support us gets you a little something in return. Just treat yourself to a premium subscription. You can do that at premium.rebelnews.com.